Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Beck Stadium on the beautiful campus of St. Andrews Episcopal School in Southwest Austin, Texas, for Championship Saturday. Merle Bertrand here along with Jack Farrell, the 3A championship game in boys lacrosse between the St. Andrews Highlanders and the Trinity Valley Trojans. And, Jack, it looks like we're standing by for the national anthem. Hello, and welcome to Beck Stadium on the campus of St. Andrews Episcopal School for today's 3A Southwest Repertory Conference championship game between the two-seeded Trinity Valley Trojans and the one-seeded San Andrews Highlanders, as well as the 4A third-place game between the number three-seeded Kim K. Falcons and number four-seeded EHS Lakes. At this time, we ask everyone to please rise and remove their hats for our national anthem, sung today by Junior Jacob Burroughs. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag. Still there, O St. Ives, that star-spangled banner yet wave. O the land of the free and the home of the brave. You just cannot beat a live rendition of the National Anthem. Well done, young man. And we're just moments away from uh, the draw here. Again, it's going to be the St. Andrews Highlanders against the Trinity Valley Trojans. Game number one of two, 4A game coming up at uh, 2 o'clock, uh, 4 o'clock, yeah, 2 o'clock, pardon me. I'm still shaking off the baseball uh, hangover from last night. Now for the starting lineups. And we're going to have our starting lineups. On attack, number 9, Cannon Cobb. Number 11, Matt Lutz. Number 14, Paul Austin. At midi. Number 7, Drew McKnight. Number 18, A.J. Williams. And number 19, Peppa Reagan. And number in a, in a defense, number 12, Jack Hagee. Number 23, Charlie Jocelyn. And number 26, Gage Trollson. And finally, at goalie, number 77, Duncan Holloway. Number 9, Ian Zimbetti. Number 10, Chris Latre. And number 15, Jack Blaha. At midi, number 5, Kai Cohagen, LSM. Number 7, Colin Dawkins at face off. And number 8, Anthony Jason. And at defense, number 3, Josh Gilbert. Number 23, Stuart Kim. And number 27, Dexter Glasgow. In goal for the Highlanders is number 33, Josh Stratton. Enjoy the game. We will do our best to do just that. It is a beautiful day. It's a little warm and muggy, upper 70s, lower 80s, but the wind, the story is the wind. It is, if it's not anchored down, it's blowing away. It is just, we have to hang out to the computers and everything up here, but we'll, we'll make it work. We'll see how it affects the play down in the field. Trinity Valley wearing the dark blue jerseys and shorts with the white numerals outlined in light blue. St. Andrews playing on the home field. They're wearing in the white Jerseys and shorts, the powder blue numerals and trim going from right to left. Trinity Valley going from left to right. If you're new to high school lacrosse, four 12-minute quarters. And we're ready for the first draw of the afternoon. And we are underway. Happy to have you with us here on Championship Saturday. Merle Birch and Jack Farrell, Les Cleary, the coach, our QA, keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast. And St. Andrews controlling the first Draw on the uh, first shot. Sails high and away to the right by Colin Dawkins. And the ball will go back over to Trinity Valley. So 
The first offensive possession here of the morning for the Trojans. Over on the far wing across the half-court stripe. Working his way in the zone. This is Connor Norris. Swing is over to the right side. Centering pass. Turned over. Here come the Trojans right to left, and we'll have a whistle to stop play. There's a flag down in the field. Didn't see that. So our first penalty afternoon, and that will send uh, Chris Luttrell to the penalty box for the St. Andrews Highlanders. Offside is the call against St. Andrews, a 30-second penalty. Now I'm going to be biting my tongue all day because St. Andrews up until about five years ago was also the Trojans. So it's going to, playing a team called the Trojans, combined with my advancing age, just sent away first period, pass out on top. Trinity Valley with the swings it over the right side to Cannon Cobb. Cobb on the right wing to Henry Spake, Spake on the far side. Centering out on top again. Over on the left wing, the shot and goal and score. Drawing first blood for Trinity Valley, I believe that was Paul Poston, the senior attacker. And it is 1-0 Trojans. St. Andrews unofficially coming in with a mark of 12-2. and two. They got to the championship game. Get first round by. Defeated St. Stephen's 9-7 yesterday under head coach Chris Delfoss, taking over from Josh Blumenthal a couple of years ago. Trinity Valley 9-1 unofficially under head coach Chris Cobb. They defeated Fort Worth Country Day after a first round by. They defeated Country Day 20-8. They're the number two seed. And St. Andrews controls the draw. Moving from right to left is Kai Cohagen. Over to the left wing. This is Zambetti. Centering pass on top to Luke Precourt. On the attack, into the attack zone now, dumps it over on the right side and throws it away. A little too hard and high, and the turnover will give the ball back to the Trojans with 10-19 to go first period. 80-second shot clock in high school lacrosse. And I hope all the basketball coaches out there are listening. That ball loose on the grass, but scooped up by the Trojans. They salvage possession. Matthew Lutz with it on the right side, being checked by Cohagen. Working now behind the net. Over on the far side. Working his way to the center is Cannon Cobb. Now when fans say, let's go blue, which blue are they talking about? Centering pass again to Cobb. Over on the left wing and shot and a bounce pass, bounce shot into the net score. Yeah. Drew McKnight. And we're getting a quick timeout call here by St. Andrews with 9.38 to go in the opening period, 2-0 with the Trojans on top. Happy to have you with us here on Vibe Live. Thanks to Jeff McCrary and Bob Windham and everybody with the SPC. We had the privilege of broadcasting the fall and winter championship games. Partnered up with Flow Sports at the time. And uh, back working on our own again. Happy to be out here. We'll have the girls lacrosse, baseball, and softball SPC championship games from the Houston area next weekend here on Vibe. Lights are on here at Beck Stadium. If you hear some random sounds and you're not uh, familiar with the facility, it's a pretty cool setup. The press box is just off to our right, elevated between two grandstands. The field you're watching here for this championship game, that's what they call the lower field. And the upper field, directly behind us, is where the 7th uh, and 8th ga uh, place game is taking place right now. So they can have two events going on simultaneously there with the press box in between. This field here is used for football. St. Andrews bringing football back last year after a couple of years partnering up with St. Stephen's. And you can have a couple of lacrosse games, a couple of field hockey games, a couple of soccer games going on simultaneously. Pretty nice facility. Of course, a track built around this 
field as well. All right, so here we go, two nothing Trojans on top. 9.38 to go in the opening period. Working on the draw, it's gonna be controlled again by St. Andrews. So Dawkins with it. And now he'll center it out on top to Anthony Tassone. Tassone comes off, and Luke Precourt checking back in. A shift change here, if you will, for the Highlanders. Working, right side, and shot sails wide right from Precourt. Ball will stay with the Highlanders. Gusting wind, you might be able to see it there in the shot, blowing from right to left, not across. There's a good, beautiful pass, centering pass, and a point-blank shot, Daniel Lede, and the Trojans are on the board. Latre with the assist. And St. Andrews on the board, two to one now with 8.54 to go. Battling for the draw, still loose. No control yet, and now it looks like the Trojans have finally cleared it. Nope, but St. Andrews comes away with it. They've controlled the draw thus far. Centering pass over on the right wing to Sean Goodlett. Goodlett gonna back it back out and reset the offense. He hands it off to the incoming Grayson Coffin. And Coffin looks like dumps it off to Precourt. Precourt with it, starts his attack into the zone. Fires and a shot. Nice save there by the goaltender. Duncan Holloway in between the pipes for the Trojans making the first save. And the long outlet pass up to the right side. Across the half court stripe, this is Trojans on the attack. Centering it back out on top. Lutz with it, picked out by Goodlett. And they'll swing it over on the left wing. Cannon Cobb with it now. Cobb off to Peeper Regan. Regan on the right wing. Lutz. Behind the net, now the centering pass over on the right side. Working back behind the net, good patience here. And good even now spin move deflected. Shot through the traffic, kicked aside. Stratton between the pipes for the Highlanders with that save, and he's got it now. He'll set up the outlet pass and get the offense going. Dumps it over on the left wing. Chet King with the long pole, gets it across the half-court stripe, and St. Andrews back on offense. Working left side, off the check. Pass on the left wing. Looking for the wraparound, nope, we'll go behind the net. This is the tray with it, has checked off the ball, battling and try to recover it. And now about a half a dozen guys scrambling for the ball. Still loose. Kicked along the ground and scooped up. Nope, checked off the ball again. And now the Trojans finally come up with it. Pass up to the right side to Matthew Lutz. Inside of six minutes to go opening quarter. Right wing, this is A.J. Williams with it now. Working back behind the net to Postone. Centering pass, wrap around score. A.J. Williams, I believe, with the goal. 
off the centering pass from Pastone. And the Trojans up 3-1 with 5.42 to go opening quarter. Three one Trojans, a lot of offense thus far. St. Andrews again controlling the draw. Over on the left side. No look pass. And checked off the ball. And now a turnover and a shot score. Jack Blaha. Creating the turnover, scoops up the loose ball and fires a point blank, and St. Andrews trims the deficit to one. Three to two with 5.28 to go first quarter. Cullen Dawkins working on the draw for St. Andrews. Trying to see who that is. Haven't gotten a good look yet for the Trojans. It's Dawkins controlling it. Dawkins with it on the left side. Out on top to Tassone. Grass surface here, beautiful condition. Just a little bit of rain in the Austin area the past couple of days. For as much traffic as these fields take, they're in great shape. On the attack right side. And the pass sails high and out of bounds. That'll be a turnover that will go back to Trinity Valley. Here come the Trojans. Pivots, splits two defenders across midfield. Regan with it. Still with it. And now dumps it over on the right wing to Lutz. Working behind the net. Shakes off the defense and a shot point blank save by Stratton. The outlet pass goes a little bit too long. It's a loose ball on the grass, fought for, and St. Andrews comes up with it. Chris Latre, centering pass goes too long, scooped up and score! The pass is too long, but before the goalkeeper can come out and get it, Jack Blaha was there to pick it up, and he fires into an empty net, and we got a tie game, 3-3 with 4.03 to go. It is Gage Trulson working on the faceoff for Trinity Valley against Colin Dawkins. And still loose, no control yet, and now St. Andrews comes up with it. Going back to get it was Dawkins. Dawkins running through the defense across half field. Now into the attacks on the left side, almost threw it away, but tracked down by Latre. Zambetti with it now. Zambetti out on top to Coffin has just checked into the game. On the far side, drop and scooped up again. And that ball thrown behind his intended target, loose, and it's a turnover. We'll go back to the Highlanders. This is Charles Jowson coming up with it, gets it back to his goalkeeper, Holloway. Back to the near side to Jowson. High pass overthrown, but controlled nonetheless by. The Trojans working on the right side. This is Pastone. That pass is too long and loose, still loose. No, no control yet on the right side. Now 
Trojans come up with it, but checked off the ball right in front of the net, and the ball kicked away. Still loose. Still loose on the right side. And finally, San Aaron just comes up with it. Kai Cohagen finally comes up with a loose ball and promptly throws it out of bounds. It'll go back to the Trojans. Boy, a couple of golden opportunities there for Trinity Valley. That ball kicked around right in front of the net a couple of times. Two seventeen to go, opening quarter, three three. Trojans on the attack, over on the far side. Centering pass and checked off the ball at the last second. They had that teed up well, but Lutz had the ball poked away by St. Andrews on a nice check, and here come the Highlanders working up, up right to left. This is Sam Marsh across the half court stripe. Nice head fake into the attack zone, dumps it over on the left wing, sidewinder into the net score, St. Andrews. Set up nicely by Marsh, found the tray, and St. Andrews with the first lead of the afternoon, 149 to go opening quarter, 4-3 St. Andrews. Hardest working man in high school sports. Athletic director Jeff McCrary in the right end zone out of the camera shot, placing extra balls at intervals to speed a long play. Pass to the near side. Sam Betty swings it over to the right wing now to pre-court. He'll dump it off till the day. The day gets it over to Coffin. And a shot into the net score. I'm gonna wait for the PA guy to bail me out because I looked down at the exact wrong moment. There you go, Lede with the goal. 117 to go, and St. Andrews leads it now by two. And a timeout going to be taken by Trinity Valley. 117 to go here in this opening quarter. 5 3 St. Andrews, three unanswered goals. Happy to have you with us here on this Saturday afternoon. Hope you're having a good weekend. I'm Merle Burchard, and he is Jack Farrell, the future, future Walter Cronkright of UT Sports Broadcasting. Jack and I both recovering from a long night of baseball. He was doing Eastview baseball out of Cedar Park last night. I was doing Vandergrift baseball at Vandergrift against Hutto. So after the timeout, 117 remaining here in the opening period. Working on the draw, and somebody new is Jake Hagee. Working on the face off that time for Trinity Valley, and he came up with the draw, but the ball checked away, and St. Andrews gets it back. So Highlanders on the attack on the right side. Pass on the left wing. 
Now centering it back out on top to Precord. Precord being checked off the ball by Colin Fewens. Now over to the left wing. Sidewinder again, nice deflection and a nice save. And the shot sails long. Nice job there by Duncan Holloway. Once again in net. 19.7 seconds to go opening quarter. Time for one last attack here for St. Andrews. Working behind the net, Latre. Centering pass on and top, down to 11 seconds. Over on the right wing. Six seconds. Working through the defense, scored! Fought through the uh, stubborn defense. Was able to get the shot into the net and a goal, I believe, that time by Grayson Coffin. See the Coffin or the day? It was Coffin, yep. And with 2.9 seconds to go, the Highlanders are doubling them up six to three. One last draw, two point some seconds left. And that is gonna be the end of the first period. So the Trojans jumping out to a 3-2 lead before an answer goals here by St. Andrews. They'll take a 6-3 lead at the end of one. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a quick break and be right back for quarter number two. You are watching the SBC 3A championship game here on Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone, touchdown Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. And welcome back to Beck Stadium on the campus of St. Andrews here in Southwest Austin, Texas on a blustery late April day. Hope everybody had a great Easter last weekend. Hope everybody found all the Easter eggs. That was always a great fear in my family. There was always that one egg that nobody could find and they forgot where they put it until about a week later when it became very apparent. Six to three year score. Highlanders on top of the Trojans. Episcopal School of Dallas against St. Mark's coming up in the 4A championship game. That'll be at 2 o'clock right here on Vipe. Teams have switched sides. So St. Andrews going from left to right. Trinity Valley going from right to left. And the Highlanders controlling the faceoff once again. This is Dawkins with it. They're working now back behind the net. To the tray. <laughs> St. Andrews going from left to right into the wind, and it is. It's not a crosswind. It is directly blowing from right to left, and that pass low, and it's going to go out of bounds. Turnover will go back to the Trojans. Just underway second period, 11-17 to go. McKnight to his goalie, back up to McKnight on the left side. Centering pass to Regan, and the shot checked off, goes, rolls out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Trojans with 11 minutes straight up to go first half.
check that. It's Highlander ball. So this is Kai Kohagen with it, walking it up. To Stratton. And Stratton across the half-court stripe. Looking for the centering pass, not there. I'll bring it over to the left side. Sam Marsh with it over on the far wing to Lede. Back to Marsh. Right side now, Coffin. Coffin off the check, and the overhand shot sails over the goal, and it'll stay with St. Andrews with 10.22 to go first half. Working behind the net is Latre. Centers it out on top from the left side, and the shot goes wide left. Stays with St. Andrews. Duncan Holloway between the pipes for the Trojans. Facing an onslaught, and there's a sidewinder gets by. Score St. Andrews, Kai Kohagen. And check that, they're gonna give that to Lede. So 10 or 7 to go, first half, 7 3 your score now. Five unanswered goal for the homestanding Highlanders. And a violation on the violation on the faceoff. The ball will go back to the Highlanders. Working up to the right side, tippy toeing along the sideline, stays inbounds. This is Cohagen. Dumps it back behind the net to Jack Blaha. Blaha with a couple of goals. Centering pass on the right side. Now they go back behind the net to Latre. Centers with the ball low and behind him, and it's a turnover. We'll go back to Owen Cox. Trojans on the attack into the zone. Dumps it over on the left wing to Cobb. Checked off the ball, loose. Still loose, and the Highlanders come up with it. This is Cohagen. Checked off the ball, lost it out of bounds, and it'll go back. Good defensive play there by Connor Norris to force that turnover. Trojans with the man advantage because got an equipment issue, and now getting back into the fray is Cohagen coming back in. Sidewinder sails high over the head of Stratton and over the pipes that it'll stay with the Trojans with 9.02 to go in the first half. Working left side, this is Pastone. Dumps it out on top to Cobb. Cobb working through the defense. And fires into the net, overhand. Pass Stratton into the net. And that will end a 5-0 run for St. Andrews. And the Trojans are back on the board with 8.48 to go, 7-4. Forty-eight to go here in this first half, and another face-off violation. This time, it will go back over to Trinity Valley. So Colin Fewens with it. He dumps it out on top to Williams. Williams swings it to the near side. Over on the far side. Checked off the ball, but gets it back. Back to the near side to Cobb. Cobb. Ball deflected in traffic. And fires into the net goal. Nice recovery by Paul Postone. Ball was deflected. Postone picked it up on the one hop and fired a point blank in the net. And it's a 2-0 run here now for the Trojans as they pull back to within 7-5. So 
See if we can get a clean face off here. We do. And controlling it is Grayson Coffin. And Coffin's pass is gonna go out of bounds unless the Highlanders can save it, which they are just unable to do. And that pass is too long. Rolling up the far sideline and controlled by St. Andrews. But checked off the ball, Trojans come up with it in the zone, now they're checked off the ball. Trinity Valley gets it back over on the far side. Working back behind the net. Out on top to Cobb. Cobb spins to the defense over on the left side. Slips on the wet grass. Did have a little bit of rain here this morning. Maintains possession. The shot sails high. Deflected off over the net by Stratton. With 7.17 to go. And looks like we're going to have a timeout on the field with 7.15 to go here in this first half. Timeout taken by St. Andrews. We'll keep it here. So a busy Saturday afternoon for us here on Vibe Live in addition to our two championship games. Kind of a Saturday grab bag, if you will. Here in the greater Austin area, Bastrop over Maynard, 11 to nothing in baseball. That game over in five innings. Big all-star game in Houston today. The uh, Texas Girls High School Coaches Association all-star game sponsored by Vibe over at Wheeler Fieldhouse. That gets underway with the pregame at roughly 12.30, tip off at two o'clock. Ridge Point Baseball taking on Brazoswood out in Houston. Elgin Baseball taking on Hendrickson here in Austin. McNeil against Stony Point, Pflugerville against Pflugerville Weiss. So you got a little bit of everything here. Baseball, softball, lacrosse, basketball. Because that's just what we do. Thanks again to Les Clary, the coach, keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast from the comfy, cozy Vibe Live studios, better known as his living room sofa. Actually, Les has got a pretty good man cave set up up there. Not, not a bad system. Always good to have somebody watching the broadcast. We always do that to make sure that we're staying on the air and looking and sounding good. The internet can still be the internet these days. Here we go, back to the action. Trinity Valley ball, working from back out behind the net. This is Cobb with it. He is working. Still has it. Now dumps it over here to the left side. And shot blocked by Stuart Kim. Not so much blocked as just kind of took the shot right off his backside. But it got the job done. And Kai Cohagen picks up the loose ball, gets it back to Stratton. He'll swing it out to his left long pole, and they'll set up the offense. Pass across midfield. Pissone with it now over on the left side. Long sidewinder sails long. And the ball will go back to Trinity Valley with 6.23 to go here in this first half. 7 5, Highlanders on top. And we got to stop it to play for some reason. Not sure what the. Not sure why they stopped it, but we're back to it here with 6.18 to go. And checked off the ball, but Trinity Valley gets it back. That ball almost intercepted. Now it's still loose on the grass. Still loose and scooped up by St. Andrews up here to the near side. Beautiful job to stand up and get a stay step in the line. He tried to sell it, did Kai Cohagen, but he was checked out of bounds and the ball will go back to Trinity Valley. Nice defensive play there by Cannon Cobb. To knock Cohagen out of bounds. Good call, Rip. So Trojan ball. Over on the right side, this is Norris. Centering pass, broken up. Kicked along the ground, loose. 
And chucking off the ball was Goodlett, still battling one on two. Trojans come up with it, however. Pass over on the right wing. Looking for the wraparound opportunity, not there. Ball loose here on the near side and scooped up again by the Trojans. Cobb with it. 5.19 to go first half. Centering pass, bounce the shot into the net score. Cobb set the table and I think it was Matthew Lutz finished it off. It was Williams credited with the goal. There was a flag in the play, but they'll pick it up. 5.15 to go in the first half, and after a 5-0 Highlander run. Number 25, Aiden Carey of St. Andrews for a slash limit penalty. So St. Andrews is flagged for a penalty. There'll be a man short here for, I think, the next minute. So Jake Hagee with it now. Off the face off over on the far side. Working behind the net. Over on the right side. Highlanders bring an extra offensive player to compensate, so they're a man short on the offensive side. Cobb with it. Guarded by King. Yeah, that pass is going to sail out of bounds. The turnover will give the ball back to St. Andrews with 425 to go here in this opening half. Stratt with it to set up the offense. Outlet pass up to Coffin. Being harassed by Cobb. Gets over the left side off the stick. And uh, can he save it? He cannot. Goes out of bounds. The ball will go back to the Trojans. Four oh two to go. St. Andrews trying to kill off a penalty. And the shot sails wide right. It'll stay with the Trojans. Over on the right wing. Lutz looking, dumps it back behind the net. Now swing it over on the left side. Center it, out to Cobb. Right side, shot through traffic, knocked down by St. Andrews, and up to Sean Goodlett. But Goodlett double teamed and checked off the ball, still battling for it, Goodlett gets it back. Oh, we got an injured player on the field. That's the stoppage of play. Injured Highlander on the field. That'll stop play with 3.30 to go. Time out for an injured player. If I can get a look at who that is for St. Andrews. Looks like he's going to be okay. He's sitting up. Can't quite get a look at the number 23. Yeah, Stuart Kim, senior defender, walking off the field under his own power. That's good to see. So it'll be St. Andrews ball once he gets completely off the field, which he just now does, so we're ready to go here. 3.30 to go first half. Here we go. Highlanders on the attack from left to right, working through the defense. Muscling his way through Grayson Crawford, checked off the ball, and that's gonna be a flag. Looks like a penalty gonna be called here on the Trojans.
There's another flag on the far side of the field. Unless they called the same uh, penalty from the other side. Thirty-second penalty called on Cobb. Grabbed the hold of the jersey, wouldn't let go. So the Highlanders have successfully killed off their penalty, and now they've got a man advantage themselves here for the next thirty seconds. Highlanders back on the attack. Trying to break a 3-0 run here for Trinity Valley. On the right wing. Fires into the net, score! Grayson Coffin. Closest analogy in basketball would be a hook shot, but that was a hook shot with authority. And it's 8-6. So 2.59 to go now, first half. Highlanders have rebuilt their two-goal lead, 8-6. to six. They've led by as many as three. That's a big, been the biggest lead by either squad here today. It's three goals. Pretty much what you would expect when number one meets number two. And now the Trojans control the faceoff. I checked off the ball. Highlanders get it back. Colin Dawkins with it. Dumps it over here to Jack Blaha. Blaha back out on top to Dawkins. Dawkins on the far wing over to Lede. Now the Highlanders move into the attack. Coffin with it, slips, loses the, loses the handle, and the ball will go back to the Trojans. Cross midfield, working from right to left. Penalty's over, teams are back at equal strength. The Cobb on the left wing, dumps the centering pass, and fires into the net, score! No look pass to Matthew Lutz, who puts it into the net. And the Trojans are back within one at eight to seven. Pretty play. Two oh four to go first half. One one goal game here. Eight seven. St. Andrews on top. Pretty good gust of wind blowing through right now. Trojans control the face off. They're looking to tie it up. They're on the attack on the right side. Taking off the defense. Back behind the net. Looking for this cross field pass. Double team. And Cobb does a good job hanging out of the ball. And a nice save there by Stratton. Point blank. A loose ball on the grass. Still fought for. A lot of pushing and shoving, and now the Trojans come away with it. McKnight with it. Working on Goodlett. Swings it over to the far side. Connor Norris. Norris is still with it over to Stuart Kim. Kim. And a shot into the net score. We are tied up. As Matthew Lutz fires it. And with 53.7 seconds left in the first half, we've got a tie ball game. Second goal by number 11, Matt Lutz. I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's go, Blue! Let's go, Blue! 
No control, and now the Trojans come up with it. But a violation call, the ball will go back to the Highlanders. Over on the far wing, I believe this is Lede with it. 37 seconds. Highland is trying to set up to take one last shot here before the halftime. Precourt with it. Centering pass. And shot sails wide right. 25 seconds to go. Still loose, kicked along the grass. And now the Trojans come up with it in the near corner. Good play there by Gage Trulson. He dumps it off to Eric Borman back behind the net. Borman with the outlet pass. Flinging it across half court. Three seconds, two, one, and that's going to be the end of the first half. So 24 minutes of back and forth across half in the books. Toss it out the window. They'll play 24 more. Tied eight apiece. We will take an extended break and be back for halftime. I'm trying to see how much time we can put on the clock here. It's going to be a 10-minute halftime. So we'll probably just step aside and uh, let you absorb some of the sights and sounds here at Beck Stadium and be right back. You're watching the 3A SBC 3A Championship Boys Lacrosse game here on the Vipe Live Network. Hey, high schoolers, are you interested in a career in sports media? Vipe can help. Launched in 2017, our Vipe U Ambassador Program is a -a one-of-a-kind educational scholarship program that offers high school students a chance to gain hands-on experience in the sports media field. Vipe U also gives students a platform to build their portfolio of creative work under the guidance of Vipe's seasoned professionals. From covering games to publishing photos, writing articles, and conducting on-camera interviews, each Vipe U ambassador receives an immersive experience geared toward their interests while promoting their own school and preparing them for their future. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out more about Vipe U today.
probably watched a bunch of them. You watch your older siblings play all the time, haven't you? That's fine. They had a tournament last weekend. They were much more. That was their second tournament, so you saw their first one. Back rate, they played a lot better. They, they won one out of three. Their loss was a two point loss. And so they could have been two. They, had a, they, had, they looked much better.
And we welcome you back to Beck Stadium on the campus of St. Andrews Episcopal School in Southwest Austin, Texas. Merle Bertrand, Jack Farrell here at the stadium. Les Clary keeping an eye and an ear on things and all the other broadcasts we've got going on today from the Vibe Live Studios, better known as his living room sofa. Eight to eight, your score at the end of the first half. Since we're kind of all settled in here, I'm gonna fire up an email if you wanna give a shout out to your favorite player on either side. You'll have to forgive me. It's Voice of the Vipers. All one word, plural, voiceofthevipers at gmail.com. I'm the voice of the Vandergut Vipers. I'll just use that email. Hold your nose, send us an email. Let us know where you're tuning to the broadcast from. Give a shout out to your favorite player on either side. Eight to eight as the second half gets underway. St. Andrews will be going from right to left. Trinity Valley going from left to right in the royal blue. 3A boys championship lacrosse game for the SPC, 4A to come up at two o'clock. That'll be St. Mark's against ESD. And here we go, 24 minutes to decide this one. St. Anna's going from right to left in this third period. It's Cullen Dawkins with the ball. Dawkins swings it over to the right side to Grayson Coffin. Back on top to Precourt. Precourt working to his left, dumps it over under the near side. And pass almost intercepted. Nice effort there, but St. Andrews maintains possession and they're gonna throw it away out of bounds. So the Trojans with some good defense, the pressure force and the turnover here. And they'll get the ball for their first offensive possession here of the second half. Gus Stratton in between the pipes for St. Andrews. It's Duncan Holloway between the pipes for the Trojans. And that ball loose on the grass. And scooped up by the Trojans on the right wing. This is Poston with it. Centering pass out on top. Norris working on the right side. Now working behind the net and a little sidewinder and a flag comes in. Flag penalty coming up here against the Highlanders as soon as they touch the ball. Centering pass out on top to Shipman. Right wing. Over on the left side, the shot sails wide right. Ball will stay with the Trojans. And they're gonna get Sean Goodlett with the penalty. No, nope, check that. Penalty called on Stuart Kim. Penalty is on number 23, Stuart Kim for a slash, one minute penalty. Kim called for a slash. They're gonna reset the, reset the clock and try to start play again here. So Trojans with a one-man advantage here for a minute. Working back behind the net. This is Poston with it. Out on top. Now they swing it back over to Lutz. Cobb. Working on Marsh over on the left side. Wrap around. Shot over the goal on the bounce shot. It'll stay with the Trojans. 9.51 to go third quarter. Nobody has broken the scoreboard yet here in this third frame. The centering pass. Misfired, but the Trojans maintain possession. Now reset on the right wing. The center overthrew him, but there to pick it up and firing into the net score. 
pass is overthrown, but Poston picked up the loose ball and just dumped it in anyway, and the Trojans have regained the lead, 9-8. The back and forth continues as the Trojans have reclaimed the lead. They led it early. St. Andrews led it 6-3. to three. Trojans fought back, and now they've retaken the lead here at 9-8 to eight with 9.34 to go in quarter number three. Battling for the faceoff, and still loose. And finally, the Highlanders come up with the Cullen Dawkins with it on the attack. And overshoots him on the pass, and that will go back to the Trojans. Sun burning through the clouds. Look like we might be in some sunlight here for a little while. Temperature will rise up. A little moisture on the grass from the rain this morning, so it's probably nice and steamy down there on the playing surface. Here come the Trojans across half the midfield stripe. Dumping the centering pass, spins off the defense, looking for the backhand, not there. Trojans maintain possession, working behind the net. The center fires and shot goes wide right. Nice idea. That shot goes wide left. And it'll stay with the Trojans. 8.43 to go. Trinity Valley ball. They center it to Grayson Shipman. Shipman back on the left wing. Pass, shot into the net score. Poston again. And the Trojans have rebuilt the lead now to two goals at 10 to eight. Third goal of the game for Poston. Come on, Blue! Battle for it, and St. Andrews comes up with the faceoff this time. It is Dawkins across midfield, now into the attack zone on the far side. Out on top. They dump it in here to pre-court who's just checked into the game. Now on the left wing. Back to pre-court, centered. Work it over on the right side. It's just to zone. Pre-court. Coffin. Back behind the net. Out on top. Sidewinder blocked. That stung. That was point blank off of a Trojan defender. He's trying to walk it off. Highlanders maintain possession, now check off the ball. Battle for it up the far sideline and trying to keep it in bounds. It is saved in bounds and the Trojans come up with it. Now it's loose on the grass. Highlander ball. Coughlin, I believe, with it, looking for the shot and block. Beautiful save. Beautiful save and goal by Duncan Holloway. Trojan ball near the midfield strike. Checked out of bounds. And 6.56 to go here in this third quarter. 10 to eight Trojans on top of the Highlanders. Pass here to the near wing to Connor Norris. Norris working right side. Now he centers it out on top. I believe this is Cobb with it, it is. Off the screen, working to his right. Dumps it right wing. Norris, behind the net, picked up there by Stuart Kim. Out on top, that ball might be thrown away. Over in the back is the call, the ball will go. 
to St. Andrews. The tray with it. The tray on the right wing. Precourt with it, trying to reset the offense, trying to get something started for St. Andrews. Trojans are tightening up the defense. Over on the right wing. Fights through the defense, and the bounce shot goes too high back behind the net. And thrown to the ground there. That'll be a penalty, and we've got an injured St. Andrews player. That ball goes wide right. And now we'll get the stoppage of play as we do have an injured St. Andrews player. It's kind of a WWE move there, just kind of thrown to the grass. Checking the number if I can see here. Hopefully just had the wind knocked out of him, but he took a pretty hard fall there on the body slam. Now he's sitting up, it is Chris Latre. And he will get up and walk off the field under his own power. That's good to see. Latre is senior for these Highlanders. Play will resume with 5.33 to go in the third quarter. Highlander ball. Trojans on top by two at 10 to eight. Unsportsmanlike conduct the call in Owen Cox. So Highlanders will have a man advantage here for a little while. Working behind the net, this is Anderson. On the right side, that ball loose on the grass, but scooped up by Zambetti. And shot into the net score. Cullen Dawkins. Takes advantage of the man advantage, and St. Andrews back within one at 10 to nine. Now, unlike in hockey with a penalty like that, in hockey with the goal would even up the teams, but the Trojans will stay a man down. Five ten to go third quarter, ten to nine. It's been a back and forth game since the opening faceoff. Highland is battling for the draw. They can't quite come up with it, and it's going to be Trojan ball. Toulson with it up the left side across half court, and he has tripped from behind. No call. And it's Highlander ball to Sohn with it. To the near side. Sam Betty. On the right wing. Penalty has been successfully killed off now. So the teams are back at equal strength. And the turnover will give the ball back to the Trojans here with 4.20 to go in the third quarter. Up on top right side. On the attack is Lutz. Lutz fires into the net and scores. Stewart Kim hanging on and now Tempest flaring a little bit. Think there will be a penalty on Kim to add insult to injury if you're a Highlanders fan. So 
Well, Trojans get the score and they'll have a man advantage here. Kim call for a slash. So 4-10 to go here, and the Trojans have rebuilt their two-goal lead, 11-9. Trojans again, controlling the face off. And loose with it on the far side. He'll dump it behind the net. They'll reset up the offense from there. Austin with it. Over on the left wing. Center it now to Cobb. Left side, shot into the net, score. Trojans starting to take control. Possum with the goal. They've got their biggest lead of the game now at 12 to 9. Fourth goal of the ball game for Poston. As the sun mercifully goes back behind the clouds. 3.35 to go third quarter. 12 to nine, Trojans on top. Battle for the ball on the faceoff, controlled again by Trinity Valley. Norris working. Into the attack zone on the right side, dumps it over to the right wing. This is Lutz. Behind the net. Boston. Out on top. Now they kick it over to Brian Scully. Scully over on the left wing. The shipman is just chipped in. Back to Scully. Scully thought about the sidewinder, pulls it back out to Shipman. Far side off the net and able to save it, maintain possession on the far side is Norris. The centering pass shot over the goal on the one hopper. It'll stay with the Trojans with 2.35 to go in the third period. Working left side. Lutz still with it over on the far side. Left shot blocked that time by Stratton. Nice attempt, but Stratton was there. And the ball will stay with the Trojans with 2.13 to go in the third period. Austin working behind the net. Now they get over on the left wing. This is Shipman with it. Left side. Good spin move off the defense. Shot into the off to the net to the left side. Stratton again with another save. Inside of two minutes to go in period number three. Left side again. This time it's Scully with it. Dumps it off to Lutz. Lutz over to Scully. Sidewinder and the net score. From way outside, Brian Scully, the junior midfielder. And the Trojans starting to pull away now, 13 to nine. One hundred ticks on the clock in this third period, and a four-goal lead for the Tro the uh, Trojans from Trinity Valley. Face-off violation will give the ball back to Trinity Valley. Drew McKnight into the game with it. He hands it off over to Regan. Regan working on Sean Goodlett. 
Pass behind the net. Shot. Deflected by Stratton. Trojans ball, now checked off the ball. Didn't realize he had lost it. Hustling back to get a loose ball on the grass, kicked around. Trojans come up with it. McKnight picks it up. Centering pass out on top to Regan. Ball poked up in the air. And Cobb trying to track it down before it goes out of bounds. It goes out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Trojans. 55.1 seconds to go in quarter number three. Regan. Over on the right wing to Lutz. Lutz working on Gilbert. Over on the left side, rolls it on the grass, skipped up, and the shot into the net goal. They got it to Cannon Cobb. And it is a 14 to nine game. Thirty-six point five seconds left in this third quarter. A quarter that the Trojans have dominated. They control another faceoff. Double team checked off the ball. Nicely done. And the Highlanders get it back. Colin Dawkins with it on the far side. Stays in bounds. Centers a pass to Goodlett. Twenty seconds to go. To the near side. This is Latrey. Good to see him back on the field. 10 seconds to go, fires into the net goal. St. Andrews needed that one. Sean the trade with the goal to pull the Highlanders back within four, 14 to 10 with 8.5 seconds left. Eight point five ticks on the clock here in this third quarter. Highlanders come up with the draw. They got time for one more shot into the zone, and sh shot rolls weakly off the net, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Eight to eight at the end of the first half, but the Trinity Valley Trojans outscore St. Andrews by six to two in period number three to take a 14-10 lead. We've got 36 minutes in the books, 12 minutes left. We'll take a break and be right back to bring you the fourth and final period. This is the SBC 3A Boys Championship Lacrosse game here on Bike Live. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Welcome back to Beck Stadium on the campus of St. Andrews. Merle Bertrand along with Jack Farrell here, Les Clary. Back at Mission Control, keeping an eye and an ear on things. 14 to 10, your score. The Trinity Valley Trojans on top of the St. Andrews Highlanders here to get ready for the fourth and final period of this 3A championship game. Again, the email, if you want to give a shout out to your favorite player on either side, Voice of the Vipers, all one word plural, Voice of the Vipers at gmail.com. Let us know where you're tuning to the broadcast from. Give a shout out to your favorite player. Game number one of two, the 4A championship game coming up at about two o'clock, give or take a couple of minutes. It'll be a physical school of Dallas against St. Mark's in that matchup. Let's go, 
but we're not done here yet. 12 minutes left to go. Trinity Valley now going from right to left in the home blue. St. Andrews going from left to right in the road white for this fourth and final period. And St. Andrews awarded the ball on the faceoff. So Highlander ball, Coffin with it. And he centers a pass. Now they bring it over to the left wing. Lede with it, or Latrell with it, pardon me. This is Luke Precourt. And Precourt checked off the ball, Trojans come up with it. Now it's loose on the grass, near side, kicked around, still loose. And it's gonna go out of bounds and it'll stay with St. Andrews. Coffin dumps it into the near corner. Back out to Coffin. Coffin centers. Oh, just off the right pipe. And the ricochet comes out to Trinity Valley. They'll pick it up on the dead run coming from right to left. This is Regan with it. Regan into the attack zone. Checked. And fires in a nice stop by Stratton. Dropped it momentarily, but picks it up. Stratton, the outlet pass, lost the ball, and the Trojans will get it back. So a turnover turns the ball back over to Trinity Valley. This is Regan with it. Over on the far side. Out on top of Shipman. Shipman over to Scully. Scully near side, he lost the handle, but gets it back. Cobb with it, Cannon Cobb. Out on top to Williams. Remember the pass right now for the Trojans. In no hurry, up by four. And that pass to the left side will roll out of bounds. It will. That'll be a turnover. Gives the ball back to the Highlanders with 9.54 to go in regulation time. A long outlet pass up to the near side. Working behind the net. Nine thirteen to go here in this fourth and final period. St. Andrews ball. This is Dawkins with it, and that shot sails over the net too high. Inside of nine minutes to go. The tray. And they're going to call a flag on that. Tripping going to be the call coming up here against. And there's another flag. Three flags on the field right now. And the shot blocked. Good job there. By the goalkeeper, Holloway. We'll let the officials sort this out here with 8.41 to go in this fourth and final period. Looks like two separate penalties, so Trinity Valley will be two players short. Gage Trulson, both for technical fouls, 30-second penalties. 
30 second penalties on both McKnight and Charles Joslin. And we'll have a timeout on the field with 8.41 to go. Now I want to talk about this. There'll be a couple players short. We'll keep it here. 8.41 to go in the fourth and final period. Merle Birch and Jack Farrell. Thank you for tuning in, spending part of your Saturday with us. It is breezy. That lulls into a false sense of security, and then the next thing you know, your laptop is sailing across the table. Some of the other action going on. McNeil over Stony Point in baseball action, 5 0, top of the second inning. Pflugerville leading Weiss, 1 0. That's in the top of the second inning. Both those games here in the greater Austin area. Game number one of two. Episcopal School of Dallas against St. Mark's School in the 4A championship game coming up at 2 o'clock. So after the timeout, it'll be St. Andrew's ball with a two-man advantage for the next 30 seconds. Here we go. Near side, this is Ambetti. Right side, shot, sails wide left. Nice look there by Jack Blah. He's got a couple, but that one sailed wide left. Highlanders bring it back in play. This is Anderson with it on the far side. Centers it on top. Dumps it right side. Side one into the net score. That was Grayson Coughlin with the score. Well, St. Andrews back within three at 14-11. Penalties over on the minor penalties. Hat trick for number 18, Grayson Coffin. That one was assisted by number nine, Ian Zimbetti. The team's back at equal strength now with 8.20 to go in the fourth period. Rather be up by three and down by three, but you can score goals quickly in the cross, so that is not a safe margin by any stretch of the imagination. Seven, Dawkins. Dawkins controls the face off. Dumps it over to two to Sone. To Sone to the near side. To Caden Houston. Just a sophomore. He'll work behind the net. Over on the left wing. Centers. Now on the right side to Lede. Lede over to Houston. Back behind the net. I believe this is Latre. On the top now to Precourt. Precourt to Houston. Perimeter passing. Looking for the wraparound and the jump shot, no good. Ball kicked out. Foot race and controlled by St. Andrews. And for a little lobbying, the turnover will be given to Trinity Valley with 7.10 to go. Battle for it up in the air, loose and turned it over. St. Andrews gets it back. Zambetti with it. Zambetti to Houston here on the near side. He is working on Alex Patterson. Working left. And looks like another timeout. Time out taken by St. Andrews. We'll take it with them this time with 6.42 to go here in this fourth period. You're watching the SBC 3A Boys Championship Lacrosse Match on Vipe Live. 
for the end zone. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Fight Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Fight brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Fight brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Fight Sports. BYP. Jack Farrell, I think I'm going to start lobbing so we can get some of our highlight clips in there. 14-11, your score, 6.42 to go here in this fourth period. On a warm day in Austin, Texas. If you're just tuning in, Saint uh, uh, Trinity Valley jumped out to the early lead. St. Andrews caught him, passed him, led by as many as three at six to three. We were tied at the half at eight to eight. And then 14 to 10 at the end of quarter number three. St. Andrews has dented the scoreboard one time here in this fourth period, and that's where we stand, 14-11 with 6.42 to go. So the teams make their way back out on the field after the timeout. Let's go, D! And it'll be St. Andrews' ball here on the near side. Coffin with it. Now the centering pass out on top. Fighting through the defense, backhander off the net, or over the net, and it'll go out of bounds, we'll stay with St. Andrews. Back out on top of the coffin again, on the right side. Fights through the defense and puts the high shot into the net. And St. Andrews will pull within two at 14 to 12. Good work there by Coughlin to fight his way past the defender. Starting to get the feeling that this game will go to whoever has the ball last. Fourteen to twelve, Jake Hagee working against Cullen Dawkins. And Dawkins comes up with it, but he checked off the ball, but the Highlanders get it back anyway as Kai, Kai Cohagen with it. Across the line of the attack zone, Houston with it now, working back towards behind the net. Six minutes to go, halfway through this fourth and final period, and that'll be a turnover to get the ball back to the Trojans. And that outlet pass is thrown to nowhere and it's loose on the grass. Scramble for it, Trojans try to keep it in bounds and then it'll go back to the Highlanders. Good effort there by Ken Kanaka, but couldn't quite tiptoe up the sideline as momentum carried him out of bounds and it'll go back to St. Andrews. So back-to-back -back breakdowns by both teams. Gives the ball back to St. Andrews. Houston with it on the right wing. Houston working on snow, or check that, that is uh, Patterson. Centering pass into the net and score. That happened fast. Ian Zampetti off the pass from the tray and we've got a one score game again, 14 to 13. It's been a game of runs. Three, three goals for one side, three goals for the other side. Back and forth we go. That last goal was scored by number nine, Ian Zimbetti, assisted by number 10, Chris Latre. That was the Highlanders with one. 
Starting to get the feeling that these two teams could play till midnight, and neither one of them would pull away from the other. Trojans with it now on the right side. Behind the net, out to Cobb here on the leaner side. Ball deflected and turned it over, Highlander ball. Cohagen with it. Still with it across midfield, dumps it into the zone to Houston. Highlander's looking for the tie, centering pass out on top. Oh, lost it. Lost the handle, and the ball goes back to the Trojans. Drew McKnight with it. This is Regan, and the shot sails wide left. Good job there by Stratton and goal. Stratton with another save to keep it a one-goal game. That shot off the iron, no good. Highlanders get it back. Holloway with the save that time. Both goalkeepers coming up big here in the past 30 seconds. Near side, Lede with it. Lede now to his left. Four minutes to go in regulation time. On the attack, pre-court. Fire sails wide right. Luttrell will inbound it with 3.54 to go. Coffin. Coffin to his right. Slips, goes, maintains possession. Now to his left. Splits the defense. Shot into the net score. We're tied at 14. Grayson Coffin with the extra point. We've got a 14-14 game. What a match here in this SPC 3A Boys Lacrosse Championship. Back and forth we go. Highlanders controlled it off. Dawkins with it over on the far side. And checked out of bounds. That forced the turnover, gives the ball back to the Trojans. This is gonna get together and talk about something here. This should be Trojans ball. He was checked out of bounds. That's a turnover, should go back to Trinity Valley. All right, they get together, they get it right. That's the main thing. Trojans trying to get out of the defensive zone. And that ball is still a little bit too long. It'll be swatted into the far sideline. And it'll stay with the Trinity Valley. Coming up on the three minute mark. Been playing for 45 minutes, nothing decided yet. Over on the far side. Lutz with it. Pass on the left wing. Fire sails just a little bit high. Had a good look, but the shot goes high from Cobb. And it'll stay with Trinity Valley. Back to Cobb, Cobb out on front. Over on the right wing, shot goes wide left from Colin Fewens. And again, it'll stay with the Trojans, 2.41 to go. Left side. Now they centered it to Williams. Back on the right wing. Dump it left side. This is Regan. 
Off the screen, to his right, centering pass deflected and stolen by St. Andrews. Sean Goodlett with it. Goodlett across the midfield stripe, into the attack zone. He'll dump it in on the right wing. This is Houston now. 14 all coming up on the two minute mark in regulation. Inside of two, Houston, right side. Over on the left wing. They bring it on top to Precourt. Precourt swings it right wing to Lede. Back to Coffin. 145 to go. Coffin through the defense. Shot sails high. It'll stay with the Highlanders with 141 to go. Ninety-five seconds. Latrell with it, working behind the net. Shakes off the defense, trying to set it up. Dumps it out over in the right wing. Center, left side. Shot sails high from Zambetti. Eighty seconds left. Over on the right wing now to Kaufman. Kaufman shakes off the defense. And there's going to be a timeout. Timeout taken with 1.13 to go. And a 14-14 game. Number one versus number two. Both teams getting first round buys. St. Andrews defeating St. Stephen's yesterday 9-7. And Trinity Valley defeating Fort Worth Country Day 20 to 8 yesterday to set the table for this matchup. Game number two set to get underway at 2 o'clock. They might push it back a little bit, especially if we go into overtime. That'll be St. Mark's versus Episcopal School of Dallas. Thanks again to Jeff McCrary and Bob Windham with the SPC for bringing Vipe out here for this championship games all year long. We've seen some good stuff in football, volleyball, basketball. Soccer. And now it's lacrosse's turn. 113 left, 14 all, St. Andrews ball. Coffin with it here on the near side. Coffin to his left. Checked off the ball and Trojans come up with it. Now they're checked off the ball and St. Andrews looks like they might get it back. They do, Coffin inside of a minute to go. Dumps it over on the far wing, Sam Marsh trying to track it down. He can't get to it, but one of the other Highlanders does. Tipped up in the air. Ball on the far sideline, 50 seconds to go. Trojan ball up the far sideline. Trojans with it, 43 seconds. Centering pass, poked away. Trojan ball, far side, it goes out of bounds. And it'll go back to St. Andrews with 31.2 seconds to go. Time for one more run, 31.2 seconds, a long out in the pass. That's too long, but tracked up here to the near side by Latrey. 20 seconds, centering pass, right side, into the zone, checked off the ball, loose. Trinity Valley comes up in the 15 seconds. Holloway, long out in the pass to the right side. We have all, looks like we're gonna have a timeout here with eight seconds to go. No, wait, we got a, Eight seconds remaining. 
So it's gonna stay with the highlight with eight seconds to go. Centering pass, six seconds, five seconds, four, three. Trying to get a shot off. Right side, sails high and wide, and we're gonna go to overtime. Grayson Kaufman had the shot for the win, but the shot sails high and away, and these two teams are gonna battle some more. You heard the man, sudden death overtime. First goal wins it. Because 48 minutes of high intensity lacrosse just wasn't enough to decide it between these two. The next goal wins it. Yeah, we'll go and take a quick break, catch our breath, let you catch yours. We'll be back for the overtime period, sudden death. This is the SPC 3A Boys Across Championship game here on the Vipe Live Network. Interested in Vipe Campus? Vipe Campus brings our popular citywide media days right to your doorstep. As a Vipe Campus client, we will work with you to help you take advantage of our unique campus model to build a unique experience for your school. From media day photo shoots of all your athletes to game day coverage, broadcasts and live streams, video and digital content, hype videos, the Vipe U program, same day graphics, and of course your very own campus magazine, Vipe Campus is truly whatever you want it to be. Email info at vipemedia.com to find out how to join Vipe Campus today. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Welcome back. Overtime in the 3A championship game. Merle Bursch and Jack Farrell here, the coach Les Clary. Our QA keeping an eye and an ear on the broadcast. They put four minutes on the clock. We'll see if we get that far. St. Andrews going from left to right. Trinity Valley going from right to left. Next goal wins it. There are two trophies in the press box. They both want the bigger one. And a face-off violation gives the ball to the Highlanders. So Dawkins into the attack zone. Down to Houston. Fans in front of the shot, I'm sure. They're a little excited. Centering pass. Pass over on the left side. And St. Anne's gonna call a timeout. They're gonna set up a play here with 3.31 to go. It's kinda like the last 30 seconds of an NBA game. Timeouts and free throws. 14-14 your score. Timeout is taken by St. Andrews. They were knotted up at the half. But the Trojans had opened up a 14 to 10 lead early in the fourth quarter. St. Andrews chipped away at it, got the tying goal, and here we are. Whew. ESD going to warm up on the field behind us, as is St. Mark's. So they'll be ready to roll when this game finishes up here. That game's set to get underway at about 2 o'clock. That will be on a different link, so if you're watching through the SPC Championship side, go back out to that, and you'll find the 4A link. If you're watching on Vibe, go to Vibe.com. And scroll down and you'll find a separate link for the 4A game coming up at 2 o'clock. Yeah. 
raucous crowd on their feet. 3.31 to go in overtime, but it's sudden death, Highlander ball. They have it on the far side, Daniel Liday gets it over on the far wing. Working behind the net. This is Latrey. Latrey to his left. Ball deflected on the centering pass, loose in front of the net. And ball up in the air. Highlanders come up with it over on the right side. Centering pass knocked down. Right in front of the crease, still loose. And the ball will roll up here to the near sideline and go out of bounds. That should be a Highlander ball, and it will be. And now, a lot of pushing showing up the near sideline. No flag, it's gonna be Highlander ball. To the near side, Sam Marsh with it. Marsh over on the far wing. Gets it over to Zambetti, back behind the net. Looking for the wrap around. The shot scored. That's going to do it. Chris Latre with the wrap around, and St. Andrews will win it 15 to 14 in sudden death overtime in a tremendous game against the Trinity Valley Trojans. What a game! I said it a few minutes ago. They could probably play to midnight, and it would look just like that. But the St. Andrews Highlanders on the overtime goal by Chris Latre will take the win in overtime, 15 to 14 over Trinity Valley and the St. Andrews Highlanders of the 2022 SBC 3A Boys Lacrosse Championship. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here so we can regroup and get ready for game number two coming up in about 35 minutes or so. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Jeff McCrary, the athletic director here at St. Andrews, Bob Windham, the SBC commissioner, uh, our QA this afternoon, Les Clary, our producer, Jack Farrell, Suda Bincott, our technical director here at Byte. My name is Merle Bertrand, signing out for now. We'll be back in about 35 minutes on a different link for the 4A game. But it's St. Andrews over Trinity Valley, 15-14 to 14 in overtime in the SBC 3A Boys Across Championship. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. If you're not coming back for the second game, we'll see you next time right here on Byte Live. Good night, everybody.